So, in this video, we introduced a very important chapter, the rings. And um, after so many videos on groups, where so a group was a set and a given operation. Sometimes we used groups with the multiplication of operation, sometimes with the addition, but it's um, quite intuitive that some sets, they come equipped with both operations. So this is the, the notion that was uh, originated in Deadkind and that we are going to get into now. So a ring is a set equipped with two operations and it is a ring if it does these three, let's call it um, axioms, okay? first axiom, the set under addition, so the set under this operation, is an abelian group. Okay, so do not forget an abelian group is a commutative group. Okay, that's the, the first axiom. Second axiom, multiplication is associative. That's what, what we call a, a semi-group. Okay? So we have a set G and we have an operation, a binary operation. If A, B, C equals A, B, C. So if A, B times C equals A times B, C. Okay, the set and the binary operation. If it is associative, uh, we call this kind of structure a semigroup. Okay, so here we're going to say if the multiplication or the second operation, I prefer to say the second operation, the multiplication is associative. But we usually call this one, the first operation we call addition and the second we call multiplication. Okay, checked. And the third axiom is for all A, B and C um, the left distributive law and the right distributive law hold. So what is the left distributive law? Meaning that this operation must be distributive into this one. Okay, so A times B plus C equals A times B plus A times C A times B plus a times C. And this is the left distribu uh, distribution and the right distribution. A plus B times C equals A times C, right? Uh, A times C plus plus B times C plus B times C. Okay. Okay, we have lots of examples um, of rings. Um, for instance, the integers under addition and multiplication. Of course, this is a, a ring. The rationals, addition and multiplication, this is a ring too. The real numbers under addition and multiplication. All these are rings and the complex are imaginary numbers under addition. With, equipped with these two operations, they are all rings, this, okay? So these are the, the very first examples. If you prefer, I can define the ring in a different way. I say a set 
with two binary operations so I'm going to use a certain set we use the, the, the letter R for rings and two operations so I'm going to use A plus B and the operation multiplication okay A times B I'm not going to put anything here okay two operations uh, of course for all A and B and C in the, the set Um, if you prefer, I can, you can look at this, uh, looking at your operations. So, we need one, two, three, four, five, six operations, right? One, it has to be an abelian group, right? The set R under addition. So, A plus B has to be equal to B plus A. Okay, not only a group, but an abelian group. Two. Uh, if it is an, a group, it has to be associative, right? So A plus B plus C equals A plus B. So, okay. It's associative, right? Since this is a group, under addition, there will be an identity, right? So we need an identity. Um, <coughs> edited identity will be a zero, right? So a plus zero equals zero plus a equals a. That's the identity, right? Okay. And we need an inverse, right? An additive inverse. So what shall I call it? I'm going to call it minus a. Okay? So we need an element such that a plus minus a equals to minus a plus a equals zero. Okay? So five, what else we need? So the, the set under multiplication should be associative. So let us write here ABC. So it should be associative. And six. Now we need a distribution. Well, the distribution is, is like here. It's the same. Right. I'm going to write it down. A equals AB plus AC right and the right the right I'm, I'm, I'm going to write it um, okay it can be like here okay A plus B right multiplication so that will be AC plus BC right okay if you want to check if a given set under two operations is a ring you can check the, instead of these three axioms you can check these six operations I like to call it operations to this one okay one so if under addition you have a, a commutativity if it is associative if you have an identity and if you have an inverse so that means an abelian group for this four okay here if you have a binary operation an associative binary operation so okay you have a, a semi group okay uh, and here you still need the, um, the this operation the second operation to be distributive uh, to the first operation. Okay, now we have some examples of rings here. The integers with addition and multiplication. Of course, this is a ring. The, um, the ring units will be one and uh, mi minus one. 
um, the set of Z n with addition module n and multiplication module n. This is a, a commutative ring. The unity is 1. Okay. And a set of units, meaning the, the invertible elements. Units or invertible uh, elements. Um, um, now, let me say this another way. Sorry. I'm going to write it. The, the set of units is un. Okay. Uh, a very important thing in ring is this concept of units. A a unit we have seen that in previous videos, is a, a, an invertible element. So you can say invertible element or unit. But in a ring, when we say unit, we talk about the second operation. Okay? Because in the set of the integers, okay, under addition, um, for instance, 2 has an inverse element, right? You get the identity here. The same for 3. Okay, you have an, an inverse. Okay, so for all elements in the group, you have an element in this case minus a where you get the identity so this is the the additive identity right so this is your element this is the inverse okay and addition is the operation so in a group all elements will have an uh, uh, an inverse otherwise it's not a group okay but the units in a ring are all the integer numbers that have an uh, inverse for the second operation. Those are the units. Okay? So, for instance, here in the integers, uh, under multiplication, the only elements, so the, the identity here should be 1, right? So minus 1 times minus 1, you get 1. And 1 times 1, you get 1. OK. But for instance, 2, you have no element to multiply an integer where you get 1. Right. So the only units in this ring are 1 and minus 1. Okay. Um, so these are the units. Okay. But 1 is also the unity, meaning this ring has an element. An, uh, an identity for the multiplication. Okay. Okay. What about Z n under addition module n and multiplication module n? Well, um, it's also a commutative ring. Uh, when we say this is a, a commutative ring, um, when we say that the ring is commutative, 
what we mean is we have a set we have an upper first operation and second operation right we say this operation here is commutative because in order to be a ring the set and addition has to be an abelian group right so when we say a ring is commutative it's because the second operation of multiplication is commutative okay it means that a times b equals b times a of course for elements in a ring okay so for instance in zn under operation under addition module n and multiplication module n uh, is a commutative ring and a unity well now the units are the invertible elements okay I'm going to write them. so the units are the invertible elements invertible um, when you talk about about the multiplication the second operation okay those are the units okay like in the integers the units are 1 and minus 1 the unity the unity is the identity is 1 the multiplication identity of course why because a ring has always the addition identity okay that's if there is no addition identity there is no ring okay so you have rings with unity or rings with identity and rings without identity okay okay and a set of units uh, in in this ring uh, is the group of the group of units u and 